and the curses. <laughs> so much enthusiasm in me right now. <laughs> this is 123 Slaughter Me Street 2. It just randomly popped into my collection. Never played the first one. No idea what it was. Some kind of game of hide and seek type shit with monsters. Uh, it seemed to have good reviews. When I looked at screenshots and stuff, the first thing I thought was, oh great, Friday, like Five Nights at Freddy's or some shit. But I don't think that's what this is, so... Let's, let's, let's give it a shot and see what's up. New game. Can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? This is like Sesame Street for grown-ups. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. The game does run a little like I ran a test. It ran like ass. So... Not sure why I would play the second game in a series and not the first, but I don't expect much. So. Hey guys, Nate Sanders here. Welcome to 123 Slaughter Me Street 2. We had some recent budget cuts, and well, you're stuck with me. So, as you can see, at the top of the screen, it says what phase of the level you're in pre game. This is a good time to explore your surroundings. Maybe later on, plan a good exit strategy. The controls are your standard first person PC game. Use W, A, S, and D to move around. Space will crouch and make it harder to be spotted. Holding shift will allow you to sprint. You know, the basics. We did give you a flashlight again, and it's not broken. I promise. Left click to use your flashlight. You may notice some odd blue and green lights appear when your flashlight is on. The blue spots are hiding spots, and the green spots are safe spots. You cannot use a hiding spot or safe spot until pregame is over. Once pregame ends, in any second now, the phase will change to hide. During hide, you must navigate around the house and, well, start hiding. To okay. hide, enter a hiding spot and hold space. If the hiding spot is enclosed, you will need to close the hiding spot first. Now that you are hiding, you should see two bars in the upper right of the screen. A blue one and a green one. There's nothing up there. The blue bar is the juice that you are draining from a hiding spot. The green bar is your hide meter. Once you fill the green bar all the way up, uh -oh. the phase changes to seek. Also worth mentioning, once the blue bar is gone, the hiding spot no longer works. However, it does turn into a safe spot. Spots that you did not turn into safe spots during hide disappear during seek. They will not be, well, safe. Um, wait, I didn't quite catch all that. You guys can't really see that much. Game runs like shit. Must be Unity. Really fucking quiet. Looks like an exit. For free. I win. We made it out of the house. Was that the goal? What the hell is going on, man? Something about this. 
What is the green spots? I forgot. I don't know. Maybe if they subtitled it. Maybe they're safe spots too or something. What if I knew? Man, the game runs really bad. Let's see, you're supposed to use your flashlight to find blue spots, turn them green. Use your, until your meter fills up. Ah, yeah, the green meter looked like it filled up as the blue one depleted. Wherever that was. Is this a blue spot or just... I don't know. So, this is where we started. This must be a... Huh. Green bar is about two-thirds full. Or one third's empty, depending on how you look at things. Anyway, that worked. Or, why is it so fucking quiet? Great, you are now officially seeking. Do you see a bright line on the ground? No. Give it yes. a few seconds. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and follow that line. But do this in a timely manner because it doesn't last forever. Once the line disappears, you will have to seek without guidance. Seek what? Awesome. You found the objective. Now, as you can see, you are in the final phase. Exit. Simply return to the front door, and you are all done. Also, I totally forgot to mention the eye icon in the lower right hand corner. This will be an open white eye when you're out in the open. It will be a closed white eye when you are out of plain sight. And it will turn red if something sees you. To make it turn white again, get into a safe zone and hold space. In closed safe zones, don't require holding space to be safe, but you do have to make sure they are, well, enclosed. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. Get to the exit. Good luck. Um, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the Survive the Night type games. We win. So this was 123 Slaughter Me Street 2. Don't forget to like my Facebook and shut and sign my name and sign my... Alright, we gotta continue, don't we? Uh, level one, the beginning. Free game. So, I'm guessing that was just a tutorial through and through. Man, this game runs like ass. Now it says height. Oh my god, my frame rate's getting worse. Well, we just blew that bar up. Hey. 
Holy fucking frame rate. Oh my god. Why is my frame rate so dicks? Is this F? Play the guitar? Because that sounds. Yeah, doesn't do shit. Oh my god, my frame rate. Ugh. Right, this place is creepy. Uh, let's play at least until I, you know, die and stuff. Free game. Frame rate alone is just making me want to just close this damn game. So it ha so it's always the same place, I guess. Same setting, rather. Maybe you have to fill the thing up. Slow, like it fills up slower right now, so it looks like I need a second hiding spot. Holy fucking frames! Sort of fuck, I heard a damn door. Thing just walked in the thing. Did you see that? Stupid. Starts you in the same place each time. Let's just see what it happens when it catches you and just call it. Because this is kind of... <laughs> primary is pissing me off. Let's go to somewhere that, where there's like a... Like here. If I can... Get a view of it potentially. Suicide in the morning with the crosses. All right, let's go find him. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. There was a stranger who came into our town. He was tall and had eyes that could look right to the bottom of you. I hear noises. But it... Eh, eh. Eh. 
Dude. You'll never find me in my awesome hiding spot. Uh, yeah, I've had enough of this stupid. This is just. <laughs> I can't even exit the game right now. It's just. It, there's no menu. It just gives me my mouse. What fantastic game. Kids, don't do Unity. Unity's bad, okay?